Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are doing my holy grail natural hair products. So a couple of you guys have been asking if I could do this because I don't really show a lot of natural hair products or um, do a lot of natural hair stuff, but I still do my own natural hair stuff and I do let you guys know when I find some things that I really really like on Snapchat. So if you're interested more in like the natural hair journey, process, all of that, follow me on Snapchat. It'll be somewhere in this video. But this is going to be like my holy grail products, things that I've used either for the last four years. Well, I started transitioning my my junior year of high school and I've been out of high school for four years. So about six years I've been transitioning and fully natural. So if you guys are interested in some of my holy grail products that I've been using for that, the whole course or within the last few months or the last couple years, then please keep on watching. Okay, I don't have any set rhyme or reason or way that I'm going to be doing any of this. I'm just pretty much going to grab whatever's in front of me. Um, the first thing that's in front of me is this As I Am Double Butter Cream. Oh my gosh, you guys. If you guys have really, really dry hair, this is an amazing daily moisturizer. So when my hair is in its in a puff or um, it's been styled and it's probably four or five days because I, I usually go a while before I rewash and style my hair. I just throw it up in a pineapple and call it a day. But my hair gets really, really dry. So I use this double butter cream. It smells so good, you guys. It smells kind of like coconut. And it's kind of a thick cream, so I just take about a handful, rub my hands together, and rub it through my puff. And it moisturizes so well, you guys. And my best friend also has really dry hair, so I just gave her some of mine to try, and of course she's obsessed. <laughs> um, but it is a little bit pricey. That's the only downfall with the As I Am line. I pick mine up with Walgreens, of course, because that's where I work. But it's about $13 just for this. And sometimes you can catch it, buy one, get one half off, so you can get the other product that I'm gonna mention for half off because it's a little bit less expensive. But 13 bucks for eight ounces, I'm like, no. <laughs> but yeah, I will pay for it because I love it that much, but I haven't run completely out. I've used As I Am since I started my natural hair journey way, way, way back after I got out of the military, so that was about four years ago. Um, so, it's amazing. <laughs> the next As I Am product I have also used forever, you guys. This is the um, Coconut Co-Wash. So, a lot of you guys know, obviously, if you're watching this natural hair haul video or favorites video, you don't wash your hair with shampoo all the time. So, I personally don't wash my hair with shampoo all the time. I will most likely use a co-wash and this is the one that I've used. This is the only co-wash that I've used that I really, really love. Cantu has one that I don't really like. Shea Moisture has one that I don't really like. This is the only one that I feel like adds moisture to my hair as well as kind of lightly cleanses it. Everything else strips my hair completely. So I love this and it's humongous you guys this is about $8.79 at Walgreens which Walgreens is overpriced so you can probably find it a little bit cheaper on um shoot what's that natural hair site that I used to go to all the hair all the time um I forget the site but if I figure it out I will link it down below but this is about 16 ounces so it's double the times of that and you literally need the tiniest bit to wash your hair this is a brand new one because I have I have another one that I just finished so I of course stock up Duh. <laughs> no, um, but it's it's just amazing, you guys. I just kind of lightly rub it into my scalp just to lightly cleanse and also get it on my ends, detangle, and I'm done. Like that's like the easiest wash day ever. So the next favorite of mine I've also used forever, you guys. This is the Kinky Curly Original Curling Custard. Only thing I will use for wash and go. I've tried everything. I've tried the curling jelly by As I Am. I've used um, some Aunt Jackie's pillow talks. Like I've bought everything just to figure out something that's a little less expensive because this is about, I want to say about 14 to 15 bucks. So quite expensive. So I've been trying everything to see if I can find something that would do the same thing as this but just be a little bit less expensive because natural hair products can get expensive and you need, you know, multiple things to complete an entire wash day. But anyways, the only downfall with this that I found is that it flakes. So after, you know, I have my wash and go and it looks bomb the first day. It looks even better the second day. The third day is still great. But by the fourth day, I find that my hair starts to flake. Like this starts to flake off of my hair and off my curls. So that's what gets really frustrating because then I'm like, ugh. 
I gotta wash my hair. <laughs> and if you're natural, you know the damn process of washing your hair. It's just, it's not fun. But um, that's the only downfall with this. And plus the price is just a little, a little more expensive. But other than that, it's a great wash and go kind of I use a Denman brush so it's just really great for that and don't ask me where my Denman brush is because my grandma uses all of my stuff and it just disappears so can't add that in this favorite <laughs> so the next product is this twisted sister farewell to frizz a deep conditioning mask it looks like this it has a little cute girl on it where's where is she oh maybe, oh at the top so this is what I use when I get deep condition my hair, when I sit under a dryer um, or when I just put a plastic bag over and just let it kind of go for, you know, 15 minutes or whatever. This stuff is amazing. I've had this for quite some time. I'm almost out. I deep condition my hair probably every two months, maybe every four months, um, just because I don't apply a lot of heat to it. I don't do a lot to my natural hair. Y'all know I will get it braided and it will stay in those braids for about two months and then just continue the cycle. So I deep condition my hair every two to four months with this and it's amazing. It smells like bananas so it smells really great and it defrizzes, repairs, and moisturizes dry damaged hair. Now my hair personally isn't damaged but my hair is very very dry. I feel like it just soaks up everything I apply in it, um, besides all of my favorite products, but this just really helps controlling the frizz and it really moisturizes my scalp as well as my hair and my cuticles and hair follicles and everything else, all that other ter techno technological terms. Now I do forget how much this was, I did order it off of that site that I can't think of, <laughs> I don't know why, it's just slipping my mind. but. Um, I don't believe it was expensive because I I wouldn't have bought it if it was that expensive. I believe it was in the range of 8 to about 12 bucks. But you get 10.14 fluid ounces. So you get quite a bit. And if you don't deep condition as often as, um, or if you deep condition more often than me, maybe it won't work for you. But if you deep condition every two months like I do, this is going to be great because it's not going to run out and it doesn't go bad or anything like that. So the next product. I'm all out of. <laughs> this is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Shampoo by Shea Moisture. One of my favorite shampoos on the market right now, obviously. My entire family uses this. My brother, my aunt, my grandma, myself, and we all, my, uh, my aunt, my brother, and I are all natural, and my grandma is transitioning to become natural and we all love this. It just really moisturizes the hair as well as suds up and cleanses it. It doesn't leave my hair like like squeaky clean, but it makes it just clean enough that it, my scalp doesn't feel like it has a lot of buildup. This is amazing, you guys. It's amazing. Like this is one Shea Moisture product that I will rave about and I've done an entire uh, wash day routine on this entire line because I have everything that comes with the line and I will make sure to list that down below so you guys can watch that routine if you would like to but this is bomb hands down I need to throw it away because I need obviously to get another one what could I do with that <laughs> so continuing on with the shampoo if you've watched my Maui moisture review you know I love this stuff this is another shampoo that I love and as I mentioned I don't like to shampoo my hair often I like to co-wash and that's pretty much it but when I need to shampoo like after I um I, I will shampoo my hair after I'm done with this flat iron or this blowout because um I feel like it's getting a little greasy um and I just feel like I need to re help revert my curls now Maui Moisture is a vegan line and as I mentioned in that video, it isn't in our section at Walgreens. So if you go into Walgreens and right as you get into the shampoo section, it's going to be right there on your left hand side after the OGX. So it's kind of like, it's their, OGX is their parent company. So it's not, it doesn't specify that it's for us, meaning black women. But if you read the label, it has everything that we look for in a shampoo and a conditioner and um, a curling smoothie and everything else. It doesn't have, um, it's not water based, it's aloe vera juice and coconut based, coconut water based. Uh, it doesn't have any mineral oils, no silicones, no parabens, no glutens, no L, um, SLS, no sulfated, um, no synthetic dye, no L, uh, ALES, 
it's vegan friendly, it's eco friendly, and it has pure coconut water and pure aloe juice. So the first ingredient is aloe juice, and then so on and so forth. But this is amazing, and I hate that um, since I posted that video that so many people have commented that they picked it up but put it back down because it didn't specify that it was for us. But when you read the ingredients and you read the label, it doesn't have to specifically say it's for us for it to work for us, you know what I mean? So I love this stuff. It suds up really well. I will also link this review and demo down in the description box as well if you don't want to listen to all of this and you want, or if you want to know more about this line and how it works and how it like actually suds up in the shampoo, then make sure to check the description box. But this is amazing, you guys. I love it and it smells heavenly. There's a shea butter one and there's a coconut. This is the um, Curl Quench Coconut Oil Shampoo for Thick Curly Hair. I obviously have thick curly hair when my hair is in its natural state as opposed to in its straight state. So this worked really well for me. And I also included the conditioner into my favorites as well because it's just a really nice shampoo. If you can see, it's like <laughs> a quarter of the way done. Not really, but still. It's a great shampoo or conditioner as well. So that will be linked down below as well as the... Um, Jamaican castor oil, black castor oil line as well. So moving on to oils, since we're, we were just talking about oils, my favorite kind of like uh, oil sheen, if you want to say, is this Dark and Lovely All Natural. Now Dark and Lovely, I remember when they came out with this line and I was super duper happy about it, but it was just so expensive that I didn't buy it at the time because I was broke, a high school student, you know? Um, this is the Sheen Sealing Nectar. It's a recipe for all day shiny elongated curls and coils. And this is a mango oil and bamboo milk. It smells so good, you guys, it smells so good. So I just use this when, once again, my hair is really dry and I apply my uh, double butter cream. That double butter cream you can also use on your body, just, just letting you know that. But I will apply my double butter cream and then I will spray this over the top and then run my hands through it and it makes my hair smell super good all day and it adds more shine and, and like liveliness to my hair. So I really like this as well. This has been in my collection for about three years now because it's just that great. <laughs> now, I personally like to use an oil when I um, do my wash day routine. So my favorite type of oil is a black castor oil. It's an all natural, 100% pure castor oil. So this is the one by Rise and Shine that I really like to use, especially when I use my Jamaican castor oil line because it, it's castor oil based. So I just apply a little bit of this and put it into my hair and rub it from the root to the end. Not really on my scalp but kind of like near my scalp so rub it to the end. This is 16 fluid ounces. I will have a Rise and Shine link down below. I've done, um, I've added them into multiple hair videos that I've done, but this castor oil, the only thing I don't like is somewhere, I think I have a leak somewhere, but it like everywhere I place it, it gets on my desk or on my shelves back there. It's like, come on. But this castor oil is used for um, acne treatments as well as helping hair loss, which if you want your hair to grow, rashes and other skin conditions so it can use it can be used on anything um, you can even use it on your body if your body is really dry or you suffer from eczema or um, um, or psoriasis or anything like that you can use this castor oil on that so castor oil it's just a it's just a pure castor oil I just apply it on my hair to help promote hair growth and my hair has grown like from last year, like my hair has like significantly grown. So I'm still not where I wanna be, but I'm close. Um, and then I have this True uh, Made by Made Beautiful. It's a nourishing leave-in conditioner. It's shea, honey, and coconut mango. I got this out of my Essence Beauty bag when I was doing those in the summer. This is amazing. I haven't gone all the way through, but I love using this on my hair, on my weaves, on anything. It's just a really, really great leave-in conditioner and it smells. So then the only, only, only gel that I'll use on my hair is the Eco Styler Gel. This is the um, olive oil one, and I saw that they came out with some coconut, uh, coconut one and another one, and I need to hit out my beauty supply store because this stuff is awesome. So I use this for a twist and go, or, or I'm sorry, a twist out sometimes, not all the time because I don't like a lot of gel in my hair. So I use it for a twist and go. I'll also use it for... Um, 
like my edges. So before, like if my hair is natural, I'll apply some of this to my edges and then I'll apply edge control over the top. That really, really holds your edges in place, especially if you have thick curly hair like mine. <laughs> uh, so this really helps with that. But this is just your standard uh, gel. I like this one because it's olive oil based and it's alcohol free, so it's not gonna dry my hair. So that's it, I just apply it on my hair and twist and go. Now as far as an edge control, my favorite edge control is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil. It's just about gone, pretty much. I'm like scraping the edges, but this is the edge or extra cold one, and it's just it's just a standard edge control. A lot of people like the Hicks. I have that back there. I didn't like understand why it was twelve dollars and what the hype was, um, but I really like this one. It's only like four or five bucks. It's really inexpensive. It smells great. It has a really strong perfumey smell, but it still smells great. But this is my holy grail. This is my holy grail edge control. And then the last leave-in conditioner that I have that is almost gone as well, you guys. Like, I am on the bottom. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite leave-in conditioners. This is the Jam uh, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. So moisturizing you guys oh my god this is one of my favorite 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 leave-in conditioners I just a, the little it's the tiniest amount I just apply to my hair and like brush it through or not brush it um, use my wide tooth comb it's just it's just bomb and then you can still go in with your cream over the top and then your hair doesn't feel really weighed down or really heavy or anything like that it's just a really really great leave it conditioner. Okay, the last two things are my creams. Now, this first one is my Marc Anthony Coconut Curls. I raved about this on Instagram, or on Snapchat, you guys. I did like a whole Snapchat story on this. Marc Anthony, you can find at Walgreens, and you can usually find it buy one, get one free. Right now, it's buy one, get one free until the end of the month, and oh my god. So once again, this is in the styling section of Walgreens. This is not in the natural section. This is not, it, it's just not labeled for us. But when I read it, I'm like, hmm, so it's a smoothie cream? Um, define and deep frizzes, add shines and moisturizes? Hmm. And then it says no um, SLS, no parabens, no uh, flitlates. <laughs> No paraffins, no propylene, no uh, glycol, no mineral oil, no synthetic color, no DEA, no animal testing, like all of that. And I'm like, why can't I use that? Like, I really hate that us as black women have this mis misconception that because a product doesn't specifically say or it's not specifically labeled, uh, black owned or um, for natural hair or anything like that it's like well why can't I use it if you guys think about it white people have natural hair as well if they don't perm their hair their hair is natural so they don't want anything that we don't want so why can't we use the products that aren't specifically like I don't want to say the like sponsored but specifically stated for us like I'm not, I'm not that person. I'm not that person. I'm all for black owned, all of that. As you see, I have my, a lot of Shea Moisture, but it's like, there are so many great products that we're missing out on, especially for our natural hair, like this, because it's not in our natural section, it, or the ethnic section, or whatever, it, whatever the store labels it as. So this Mark Anthony one is amazing, you guys. You need the tiniest bit. It is super moisturizing. Once again, I got my best friend to buy this and she was hooked. She was like, it is so amazing. So this goes in as a styler. And um, if you remember my nat my nude glam, this is the cream that I used. So I used this cream and then two weeks later when I filmed that nude glam Valentine's Day makeup tutorial, I took my twist out because I'll twist my hair, put a wig cap on and throw a wig on. I still felt the cream and the moisture in my hand as I was untwisting my twist. After two weeks, you guys, I was blown away. I was blown away. I was like, I gotta tell my Snapchat fam. Because it's like, this is something that it, it's gonna be so great for so many women, and it's my holy grail, but it's just not marketed towards us, so a lot of people miss out on it. Don't sleep on this, sis. If you or your kids are natural, go try this out. I believe it's like $8, so it's not expensive at all. I have the shampoo and conditioner back there that I'm gonna review soon as well. 
and they also reached out to me on Instagram, so they're going to be sending me more products. You will hear more about Mark Anthony on my line. This is JLo's ex-husband, by the way, but um, this is his line, but you'll see and hear more about this as well, so... So the last one is the Maui Moisture Curl Quench. Once again, I have the entire review that I will have linked down below. But this is their curl smoothie. This curl smoothie is bomb as well. So um, I don't have a picture of when I took this down, but I do have a video on Instagram of, from when I took my twist down to when I got my hair blown out. So you can kind of see the difference. But this cream is amazing as well. It's a little bit more lightweight than the Marc Anthony one is. Um, it also smells... Like coconut as well. I, I coconut is not everything, you guys. Everything is for coconut, or everything is in coconut. This cream is also a little bit thicker than the Mark Anthony's. I like the consistency of the Mark Anthony's though a lot better because it's thinner, so it doesn't feel like I'm applying a heavy cream on it. This one's a little bit heavier and thicker, but it's for thick curly hair, you know. So um, it's marketed towards people that have thicker hair, which I do. But this is great. It once again, it's made with aloe juice. You know, it's. I can't rave enough about it. I will have it all linked down below if you want to watch. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I usually don't talk about a lot of natural hair products, but these right here are my staples. They're my holy grails. They, they're, they are what I will grab for first. As you guys can see behind me, I have two shelves full to the brim of products. and. These are always in the forefront because these are what I like the best. I'm telling you guys, I've got the Unk Jackies, I've got um, the Dr. What is it? Uh, Dr. Miracles. What else? I've got the Shea Moisture, I've got the Cream of Nature, I've got the Talia Waheed, which I do like that leave-in conditioner as well. Um, I've got the olive oil, I've got the Motions, I've got uh, Natural Mothers, I've got what is this? Carol's daughter. You guys, I've got everything back there, but these are what is my favorite. So um, I hope you guys enjoy giving me giving my perspective on my natural hair products. If you use any of these products, please let me know how you like them down below. If you like them, if it didn't work for your hair, whatever it is, let me know down below. Also, if you're willing to try any of these products just based off of my love for them, also let me know what you're thinking about buying. Um, don't forget, if you do buy these products at Walgreens, which I believe you can get everything, yeah, you can get pretty much everything except for the Rise and Shine oil and the Twisted Sisters at Walgreens. If you do, make sure you sign up to be a beauty enthusiast because you get 5,000 points every $50 spent. So if you are a natural hair junkie or a makeup junkie because we're all, we're all junkies, we all love everything, you, um, all, you earn points on those. So girl. Those 5,000 points come in handy when you're broke and you're like, I really need some new cream. And if you got 5,000 points and you only got to walk out paying $3. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed doing this for you guys. Let me know what else you guys would like to see and I will talk to you guys later. Mwah. Bye.